Good evening. Welcome to this edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Tonight's topic, I'm going to talk about the physical and behavior signs of child sexual abuse. And then I'm going to give you information to where you can contact somebody if you and even your children or other loved ones have been victims of child sexual abuse or molestation. Now, before I get into the topic, let's define what child sexual abuse is. Now, it's basically a form of child abuse that includes sexual activity with a minor. Now, a child cannot consent to any form of sexual activity, period. When a perpetrator engages with a child this way, they are committing a crime that can have lasting effects on a victim for years, and that's going into adulthood. Now, child abuse does not need to include any physical contact between a perpetrator and a child. In fact, some forms of child sexual abuse include the following, and I've listed them for you. Exhibitionism, or exposing oneself to a minor. There's fondling, intercourse, masturbation in the presence of a minor, or forcing a minor to masturbate. I've seen phone calls, text messages, and or social media or digital interaction. Producing, owning, or sharing pornographic images or movies of children. Sex of any kind with a minor, including vaginal, oral, and anal. Sex trafficking, any other sexual conduct that is harmful to a child's mental, emotional, and or physical welfare. Now, that being said, what do child predators look like? They come in all different flavors. And I'm not talking about 31 flavors of Baskin Robbins. But you name them, they're there. And they don't have any specific types of faces. It's their actions. They're going to tell you. But to get more in depth, the majority of perpetrators are someone the child or family knows. In fact, as many as 93% of victims under the age of of 18 know their abuser. Perpetrator does not have to be an adult to harm a child. They can have any relationship to the child, including an older sibling, a playmate, family member, teacher, coach, instructor, caretaker, or the parent of another child. Now, according to one in six, child sexual abuse is the result of abuse behavior that takes advantage of a child's vulnerability and is in no way related to the sexual orientation of the abusive person. Abusers can manipulate victims to stay quiet about the sexual abuse using a number of different tactics. Often, an abuser will use their position of power over the victim to coerce or intimidate the child. They may tell the child that the activity is normal or they may enjoy it. Now, an abuser may make threats if the child refuses to participate or plans to tell another adult. Child sexual abuse is not only a physical violation, it is a violation of trust and authority. Now, how can you protect your child from child abuse? A couple things that I've noted. The way you protect your child is properly supervise your children. Now, I know in today's society, Most parents are working. And you can't leave your child with anybody. The bottom line is, you got to talk to your child if they believe that somebody is abusing them. And that's particularly when it comes to a family member. Now, the way you protect your children as well, particularly if you're dating, don't bring any man or woman around your children that you feel is going to do harm. Now, you're not going to know that at first, but once you start getting feelings for that person and you see a little erratic behavior, when it comes to your children, I think that red flag better go up. Better throw the challenge flag like in the NFL and challenge that person. But most of all, when it comes to your children, You're responsible for your children. That's men and women. And another way to protect your children is watch who they're talking to on social media. In fact, social media 
is one of the biggest assets to perpetrators, not only in social media, but online dating. And this is why I tell a number of ladies, don't post pictures on online dating sites with your children because you're luring perpetrators to your children. Now, there have been television shows out about catching perpetrators. Dateline, that's one of them. Police posing as teenagers, that's another way. But the bottom line, you got to properly supervise your children. You can't trust people these days, for the most part. And the people who are perp perpetrators, believe it or not, some of them may have been molested themselves. In fact, let me run down some statistics for you. And these are true because I got them from the CDC. Now, when it comes to the inmate population, 51% of the inmates, and I'm talking about men and women, were molested. Talk about 14.4% of men and 36.7% of women. That's over, just slightly over half of the prison population. Now, individuals who have been molested have an erratic behavior. This is why a number of them can't function in relationships and they're behind bars. Well, that being said, what are the warning signs? Because child sexual abuse isn't easy to spot, especially if it's somebody you've known for a long time. In fact, the person that you've known for a long time, it's going to make it very hard for you to notice that. And then if you notice it, you're going to be shocked because you didn't expect this type of actions or action to come from a person you know. So consider these warning signs. And I'm going to go over the physical signs right now. There's bleeding, bruises, or swelling in the genital area. There's bloody torn or stained underclothing, difficulty walking or sitting, frequent urinary or yeast infections. Let's sit on that one for a minute. Frequent urinary or yeast infections. Pain, itching, or burning in the genital area. Now, of course, when there are also physical signs, right behind the physical signs, there's a change in behavior. And some of the behavior signs are changes in hygiene, such as refusing to bathe or you're bathing excessively. You're developing phobias. You're exhibiting signs of depression and or PTSD, which is known as post-traumatic stress disorder. Person will experience suicidal thoughts, especially in adolescence. Person who has been molested or sexually abused has trouble in school, such as absences or their grades are dropping very fast. Person who has been molested or has been involved or a victim of sexual abuse has inappropriate sexual knowledge or behaviors, nightmares or bedwetting. Uh, they become overprotective and concerned for siblings or they assume a caretaker role. That's also known as dependent personality disorder as well. A person who has been a victim of sexual abuse or child sexual abuse returns to regressive behaviors such as thumb sucking. They may run away from school or home. They may want to harm themselves. They also shrink away or they seem threatened by physical contact. Now, all that being said, how can this person get help? I'm going to give you that information right now. If you really want to talk to somebody, call the National Child Abuse Hotline at 1-800-4-8-CHILD or 1-800-422-4453 anytime, 24-7. Learn more about being an adult survivor of 
childhood sexual abuse. Now, if you want to speak to someone who is trained to help, call the National Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-HOPE or 1-800-656-4673 or use the internet and chat online at online.rain. That's R-A-I-N-N dot org. Again, to sum everything up, this is a topic that a number of us have been sweeping under the rug for decades. But it's always happened. And what we want to do for our children is protect them. First order of business, social media. Monitor what your children are doing on social media. Don't allow them to watch any inappropriate pornography. Also, men and women, be careful who you're bringing into your life when you have children around. Because a number of sexual abuse cases might not be you directly, but it is somebody that you're involved with. And going back to the family, Usually a lot of this child sexual abuse starts with the family. And the family should be the foundation for the child because the family is there to teach the child how to become a model citizen. Too many adults are very selfish. They want to use children for their own sexual gratification. And then some of these adults, you got to look at them to see if they were molested. Because perpetrators, we look at their sick behavior, but where do these perpetrators come from? And I guarantee you, as I speak in this video, a number of you perpetrators were also molested. But the difference is, you imitated the behavior, did not seek help. And now you're either behind bars or you've gotten away with taking another child as one of your sexual victims. So what I'm going to say to anybody who's a predator or anybody who has been sexually abused, get help. Don't wait till you're an adult to where you start to exhibit bad behavior because what's going to happen you're going to be in and out of relationships, and you're going to be one who's going to have a promiscuous behavior. I'm not saying everybody, but there are a number of individuals who have a promiscuous behavior. You don't want that because you can attract sexually transmitted diseases, have unwanted pregnancies, and you could be likely again to be raped or molested as an adult. So, for all you folks out there who are survivors, congratulations. Educate some of the victims, old and young. Let them know that they can live good lives. Be a role model and educate. Although I've never been through any type of molestation or sexual abuse, I'm putting out this video because I want to make sure that it reaches people who don't have an avenue. And my video is a start. And all I'm doing is just making each and every person aware that no matter what your sexual orientation is or your gender or your age, we can all become victims of sexual assault. The bottom line, the ones who are educated, they're going to know what to do. And everybody, I'm just saying, be smart. For your parents out there, be good role models and supervise your children. Because your children need you as parents. They look to you. And last, 
children are always going to imitate their parents for the most part. So if you're a parent and you've come from a background that you were molested, expect that to happen to your child if you don't watch them. And what I'm saying is be more conscious of what's going on with your children than you are of yourself. Because when you have a child, it's your responsibility to take care of your children, to nourish them and teach them about different topics such as sex. Because you have a lot of predators out there who want to prey on your children. And at the end of the day, your education is going to be helpful to your children. Because the way you love your children, they're going to love you back. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 401 Talk Zone radio show for this evening, Monday, July 10th, 2017. You can tune in to the 401 Talk Zone radio show every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. Guest call in number is 215-383-5785. If you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 401 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now, on this channel, I don't engage in debates, controversy, or emotion, nor do I participate in drama or unnecessary bickering because it is counterproductive. What I do on my channel is educate and give you the information so it can help you find a resource that you need to help solve your problem. And also, if you don't understand how the real world works, you're going to struggle. So the topics that I present are realistic but positive because knowledge is power. And if you have a business, a topic, or a new YouTube channel that you would like for me to discuss on YouTube or Blog Talk Radio, please email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. And if you have a comment, please leave your comment in the comment section under the video. But make sure that your comments are pithy. No bloviating, pettifogging, or filibustering, if you wish to opine. Now that's it for this video. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. Remember, please be gentle and respectful to each other. And have a wonderful and blessed evening. Good night.